are, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Captain Ripped Rick, and uh, today we have a few things planned. Now, I think I would like to go mining, but more importantly, um, we have a wall over here of things that we would like to get done that need a few things crossing off. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, obviously, we have not uh, we've crafted our new blade, which is really cool. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that guy right there. Um, which we can use for a while. Uh, I'm sure we'll be happy with that. Uh, and then trophy mod. We actually have a trophy mod now. Uh, the, we added the open blocks mod. Speaking of adding mods, uh, if you guys want to see a list of all the mods that are currently being used in Pixel Pirate, down in the description below, there should be a paste bin, and that will have a list of all the mods, including links so that you can go download them. I think you're going to have to copy and paste the text files, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, at least it's, it's something getting going. Um, and yeah, so, so if you guys want to download a certain mod or something like that, uh, be sure to check that out. Um, let's go ahead and keep looking at this. Create a small airship. We've got that done. Uh, we don't have a large dock. We have a small dock, so we're not going to, um, we're not going to cross that guy off yet uh set up other outposts we haven't done that yet make a reliable food source codes cages uh we kind of did that right with the fish in the front uh i don't know that we can cross that off yet though how, how many fish do we have um we have two here and that looks about it let's go ahead and check outside actually and see if we have any more now, the reliable food source is fairly important um, because, like I said, I do want to go mining this episode. So we got to make sure that we have enough food to do so because I don't want to die clearly while we're out there. Let's go ahead and just grab all these 16 fish. Very nice. Let's go ahead and throw them right in the furnace. I actually think we have fish in the furnace from last episode, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll go ahead and double check. And as you can see, we already did have some fish in there. So we'll just go ahead and let these guys smelt out. Uh, also, we have some sl more slime crystals. We'll leave them in there until we uh, actually need them. Actually, you know what? That's kind of lazy. We'll grab them and we'll, we'll bring them downstairs so that we can use them in the future. Let's go ahead and drop them in here. Boom. Awesome. Now, like I said, I did I did add some new mods, so we're going to run into some things that maybe we haven't seen uh, before. But uh, I added, I thought I'd, I'd mention as well, we added Vein Miner into the mods that this time when we go mining, we can find a lot of resources very quick. Uh, save some time doing that so that we can get more things done in an episode. Um, go and loot some pirates. We still need to do that. We need to get our revenge. Go to Slime Island. Oh, we got that one done. That's awesome. Um, we have how many signs? Four signs. Awesome. Uh, there are some more things that I want to add to the list, but I will go ahead and add them later um, once I once I get a better idea of, of of exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and I guess find a mine uh, right after this fish cooks. Um, we do have some food clearly, so we will be able to go down to the mine actually. So let's just leave that fish cooking and we will drop everything off that we are not going to be using. So as you may have seen, um, I do have a new indication right here. Now this is part of the inventory tweaks mod and this will allow us to organize everything. So why don't we go ahead and do that now? Like I said, we're going to clean out our inventory as well. Um, so you can click obviously different ones, different ones have different patterns. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like this, uh, no, this pattern. Um, just because it puts everything next to itself or, or if there's more stacks than one uh, Then it will it will lay it out like that and so let's go ahead and do that with each chest and Then like this one's gonna be kind of weird clearly because we have a bunch of different blocks So we'll leave it like this um, just so it's not as awkward and then these guys it's kind of it's kind of organized But what if we yeah, I, I, I kind of like it like that So we're gonna leave it like that um, and then let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of this stuff that we are not going to use now This looks like it is our naturals chest. So we'll go ahead and drop everything. That's kind of natural into there uh, This is our sand chest and then we have our iron helmet, which we have a gold helmet right now Remember we got that uh, killing that zombie and that looks like it's about to break So we'll keep the iron helmet on us for now uh, We'll we'll drop off the bow in our valuables chest because it's also a tools chest uh, the axe we have a uh, flintlock and a musket, so we should be fine with those guys. Let's get rid of the hoe. The flint and steel is used to uh, light our portal to the nether, so why don't we go ahead and do that before we go mining, um, and then we can drop that off on our way back through the house, and then we'll go we'll go out for an adventure. Um, but uh, like I said, let me go ahead and, and finish this up. Oh, this is a, this is a book that is added because of um, open blocks and. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks like it's pretty much it as far as things I want to get rid of before we, we head out. Ooh, we need to make more torches. But I don't think we can make more torches because we don't have any coal. So hopefully... 
we have some wood around here we, we don't even have wood are you serious this is why we need to go get resources okay so we'll i'll go get wood off the screen for you guys um that shouldn't be a big deal and then once we have a ton of wood that i can put away in here well I'll, I'll actually go out on an adventure and go pretty far to get get a lot of wood so we don't have to keep doing this and we will get prepped for our adventure out into the uh, unknown all right, so I went out and I, I got over a stack of acacia wood. This should last us for quite some time. Uh, I figured I would start talking to you guys when I'm out here because we are at the nether portal right now, and I figured we'd go ahead and, and light it. Uh, what? Hello? What? What? Oh, that's so weird. Why would it do that? Oh, well, no, no matter. Uh, yeah, so now our nether portal is lit. Very, very cool. Uh, let's go. It made a scary noise. Um, let's go ahead and drop our flint and steel off and then um, get off on our adventure. So the deal is, is that we don't want to take all of this wood now, um, especially because, I mean, we're not going to use it all while we're out. So we will only take 16 because that will give us a stack of 64. And then we're going to go ahead and instantly make that into torches or, or what will become torches. 16 will give us a stack of 64 torches. And then we'll just keep the rest of the wood on us. Let's go ahead and keep uh, this pickaxe uh, in front and then this one on reserve because I don't know that we're really going to need it for obsidian mining so we'll just keep you out on the reserve because we're working with this pickaxe right now uh this chest remember is if we run into lucky box and we can throw all of our stuff in a chest uh let's go ahead and get rid of the flint and steel and the tools chest as well um there we go we have a single torch i guess um if we if we really need a torch we can use one um and it looks like we're pretty much ready let's go ahead and reload our musket no it's gonna take a little longer than that apparently and there we go, we got it reloaded, and I'm going to go find a cave, and I will be back with you guys when I find a pr pretty promise promising looking cave. Okay, so just as night falls, it looks like I have, I have run into a cave that we can go ahead and use for a little bit at least here um, for the things we need. I'm a little bit afraid to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, I ran into some iron earlier. And it turns out my vein miner isn't enabled, so I'm going to have to do that at another time. Uh, I'll get all the, the configuration and stuff all set up for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and grab um, some of this coal right away. I know you guys can't see or are going to have a hard time seeing right now. Um, don't worry, that will be solved here in just a second. Uh, let's get exactly 16 pieces so that we get our, our torch right away. Our torches right away I apologize uh, there we go and now we have 64 torches so let's go ahead and start laying them down and I will um I'll go ahead and pick up a ton of coal or, or yeah pick up some coal that is in this cave and then as we as we progress further and find more things uh, I will get back with you guys okay so it seems like it's a good thing that I brought my other pickaxe because this one apparently had a lot lower durability than I thought it was going to I don't know why I thought it had such a high durability um, I mean, it's reinforced, but I don't think I don't think it had a high durability to start with, unfortunately. So um, we are gonna have to go home, repair it, and then maybe add some diamond or a diamond to it to give it an extra 500 durability, I believe it was. Um, and then we'll yeah, we'll see what we can do from there. Now I'll do the rest of the mining off of screen for you guys so that we're not constantly jumping in and out of cuts and things like that. Um, so I will see you guys when we get back to the surface, and I can show you our plentiful bounty. Okay, and here we are at home, you guys. Like I said, I'll show you guys what we went ahead and got. We got a little bit of gold, a little bit of iron, and some a lot of coal, actually. We got a little bit over a stack. We picked up that lapis, and um, remember, this pickaxe broke, and we're going to want to go ahead and fix that so that we can get ourselves to the nether. So why don't we go ahead and get to doing that? <coughs> First off, we should start by, I believe, storing some of the stuff. Um, the cobblestone we're going to need while we, when we go to the nether, so let's go ahead and keep that in our inventory. But what we can do is we can go ahead and drop off this uh, coal so that we have it for next time we need it. And we'll go ahead and run downstairs here. And as you can see, I also grabbed the bucket of lava from over there so that we can go ahead and put some more lava into our smeltery. So let's go ahead and drop as many um, obsidian as we can in here. Oh, actually, you know what? I think that's one too many. Let's Let's go ahead and take one out uh yeah so you can see there we go we'll let it all melt down that should be usable we'll be able to use that on our pick now the reason why i wanted to take one out was because we need to repair the broken pickaxe now in order to repair it you obviously need the head whatever the head is made out of you need to um put in the obsidian for that now as you can see uh i did not i did not pay attention to this earlier but our durability is 20 
six. 26 is absolutely terrible. So let's go ahead and fix our pickaxe first. Now remember, there are a few modifiers that will be able to help us with this kind of thing. Let's go ahead and run upstairs and grab a diamond. I apologize for not grabbing it before. I didn't think about it. Um, and we'll take a look at how many lapis we have. We have exactly 72. And if I remember correctly, we're going to need at least 100 pieces in order to get fortune one. Or uh, So I don't think we're going to take our lapis with us, even though it's 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 cool that we have more. Um, I don't. I don't think that it's it's going to be very beneficial if we take it right now. So let's go ahead and continue with what we were up to. Uh, let's add the diamond now. Do we have emeralds? I believe we have emeralds outside in the chest. Let's go ahead and look in that chest out in the backyard. Remember our pirate booty. But first, let's go ahead and sleep so that we don't have to worry about any bad guys coming up and creeping up on us. And there we go. Let's go ahead and run outside just really quick. I wanted to see if we have emeralds. I, if I, why is it that there are mobs specifically right there? Every time I remember the other episode, there were two creepers. This episode, three creepers, a spider, and two witches. Like, what is going on with that? Let's go ahead and, and try to take them out really quick here. Uh, I just wanted one to notice me, but I guess two will be all right. Ooh, how did I miss that? There's no way I missed that shot. Okay, one. No, reload, reload, reload. Come on. Got him. Okay. That was close. He was getting excited. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take out this one with our new cutlass. Oh, it's going to take three hits. I didn't think it was going to take three hits. That was way too close to our... Ah! What is going on? I was going to say it's way too close to our, uh, our X that marks the spot. <sighs> okay, so at least we're still alive. We got that to look forward to. Let's go ahead and reload our guns here and take out the witches first because witches are obviously bad during the day and there we go we hit both of those shots let's go ahead and reload these guys it takes so much longer to reload than i um than i actually hold out so remember that if you're going to use this mod that it's going to take a little bit longer and let's go ahead and shoot where are you going oh i hit it again how is it not dead already what the heck what is going on is it just... get out of here get out of here no 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 is this an invisible witch or something? Holy crap, how much health did it have? That was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, we gotta, we gotta look out for the potion. Nope. I think it drank that one. Oh, we got it. Okay, so I know that, that witches usually have 26 health, but I wonder how many how it took so many shots. Maybe it's because um, it was at a longer range and, and the guns lose their potency at different distances, distances or something like that. I don't know for sure. Let's go ahead and, and look in that chest now to see if we have an emerald, because if you don't remember, the emerald increases... Yes, we do. Holy crap, I forgot how plentiful our bounty was. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the emerald, because like I was saying, if you don't remember, the emerald increases the durability by 50 50%. So let's go ahead and grab our, or throw our pickaxe up into this tool station. And um, you will see now if we add the diamond, it's 526 durability instead of 26 durability, which um seems like it will be kind of nice on there. So let's go ahead and take that out. And then let's go ahead and add the, um, the emerald as well. So you can see it goes from 526 to 789. Now that is a pickaxe. Um, I believe it still has one modifier remaining. So let's go ahead and take a look at our obsidian here. Um, actually, I'm going to want to grab the mold first here. We have the large plate mold. I believe it can go up to um, five as far as the obsidian plates go or as far as um, reinforced go. Actually, I know I'm wrong on that because there's a pick that you can make that's called the indestructible pick and um, it uses all slots of the obsidian plates. So I, I know I'm wrong there. So let's go ahead and add this though and we'll see how this does. Boom. And there we're not, it says it only has reinforced one, but when we look at it, it already has reinforced four on it. So let's go ahead and pick it up and it's got reinforced five plus 500 durability, plus 50% durability, and haste. Now, this is a strong pickaxe. It's obviously not the strongest pickaxe we can make or the best pickaxe we can make, but it's one that will hopefully last us for quite a bit of time so we can stop using this diamond one unless we want to grab some more obsidian. And it's nice that we have some molten obsidian to work with in our, in our smeltery now. So now that we have all this good stuff, let's go ahead and take it to the nether. But first, I would like to actually dump out some stuff in our chests um oh we, 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 we might actually run into a need for wood out, out in the nether so let's go ahead and take these guys now i learned this the hard way uh if you guys don't know i do stream at twitch.tv slash ripped rick um if you if you didn't know now you do i hope um and basically what happened was we went to the nether 
And when we got there, a creeper blew up in our face and disengaged our portal. And only with the use of other mods, uh, not only with the use of the other mods, but with the, the a lot of help from other mods, I should say, um, we were able to get back because we were able to fly around and look on our minimap and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and take all the, all the precautions or all the, all the concerns out of it by... Um, by taking a flint and steel with us so that even if a creeper is there when we get there uh we don't get absolutely demolished uh actually let's go upstairs really quick and see how much more musket shot or, or make some more musket shot just so we're safe when we get over to the nether so we have everything now to make our bullets there we go 23 more shots not a lot but it's also not terrible so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll use those up i'm sure very quickly let's go ahead and get to the nether now i'm very excited to do this um we get a brand new nether spawn it's going to be super super awesome um, remember, we don't need to really bring anything else to the nether. We don't really bring a bucket of water to the nether because of um, the water will just fizzle away when we when we place it down. So we don't really have to worry about it. Now, I'm very, like I said, I'm really excited to see what we get here. And there we go. We are in the nether. It looks like. We are uh, in a kind of enclosed space, which is very good for us. I'm not gonna lie, um, but. I usually like to mark it off with some with with some cobble, which apparently I got rid of um, when I was organizing our chests. So I, I guess we'll leave it here for now, or we won't we won't um, worry about that for now. Now let's keep an eye on where we're from. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, mark this on our mini map. Um, what should we call it? We'll call it home. We'll just call it home base. Nice. And so now what? No, we don't want it in player deaths. No, I I didn't die. I guess it's fine if, if that's the only one that's going to be um, shown. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look around now. There's something pretty valuable right there I can see right off the bat. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up this lava with the bucket of water. I was going to put it out with uh, the wood, but I think we can just pick it up and not have to worry about it. Now, if you don't know, I believe that um, the zombie pigmen do not like when you pick up their things in the nether. Um unlike unlike in normal minecraft when they're always pretty pretty innocent um the, the, the i think they get pretty mad as far as like i said as i can remember um, i think they get they get kind of angry if you mine their stuff so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for zombie pigmen um while we mine them oh wait let's not use that pickaxe because i'm not sure that it will be able to pick it up we'll use this guy right here our um diamond pickaxe now this is a block. Hopefully we caught it. Did we? We? Where'd it go? Did we not get it? I don't know how we wouldn't get it. Diamond should should be able to pick up everything. Did it fall down there? Is he holding on to it? Does he have it? I don't know where it went. Well, anyway, that that block is called the cobalt block, and we're gonna keep our eye out for a few more of them. Um, this is obviously super sketchy. Um, I'm glad at least we have this this wood to work with for right now. Uh, fortunately, I don't think it will light on fire unless it's too close to uh, the lava, clearly. Just like in the overworld. Now, let's go ahead and take a look around. Oh, this is so awesome, but I can't believe we lost that piece of cobalt. That would have been really cool to see. Oh, there's another piece. Okay, so do we try to do it again with, with uh, uh, the diamond pickaxe? I think so. Um, but first, I'd like to run back home. I won't show this to you guys, but I'll run back home and grab that cobble because I can't believe that I, I forgot it. On my way back to the nether, I went ahead and decided to build ourselves a little house around the hut, uh, or around the portal, just because, like I said, uh, I had a bad experience with a creeper going through and locking us out. So, so this is another way of prevention for that. Um, but that, that's normally like the kind of house that I would build in the nether if we were in a very exposed place. But like I said, um, we are in a little bit more of a closed off area now. So I think we're going to be okay with um, with not having to do that. Let's go ahead and lay down torches just hopefully so we can try to find our way home if we ever get lost. And we'll pick them back up. Um, because what's nice about the nether is it's, it's pretty well lit to be fair um, than, than, what it, than what like caves would be. So uh, all we would use torches for is obviously knowing where to be able to turn around and find our own home.
So obviously I refound the cobalt, but I did some research and found out that we need a specific type of pickaxe in order to pick it up. So we're going to go ahead and leave this here because cobalt is not super rare, but uh, it, it can be, you know, it, it, it's, it can be hard to come by. So we're going to go ahead and leave it. Now, what is up there? I am very interested in um, checking that out. So let's go ahead and oop. Ooh, I probably should have looked down first. I could have could have died there very, very tragically. Um, let's go ahead and start using this pickaxe, though. This pickaxe is just as fast as the diamond. Diamond has how much durability? Uh, it doesn't say right off the bat. Hold on, what is this? What is what is this? It's very hard to mine. Is it mineable? Hmm. Oh, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and go into NEI. If you guys don't know about this trick, it's called World, and you go highlight tooltips shown, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and show those guys now. Oh, wait, I didn't turn it on, apparently. I want to show those. World, highlight tooltips shown. Yes, that's what I want. Hmm. I don't know why it's there. It's not showing up. That's very interesting. But usually it's supposed to show um, exactly what you're looking at, just like uh, what am I looking at the mod. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it is. Now, remember, another reason why we did come to Nether is these guys right here. This, um, this Nether Quartz is not only a great source for um, experience, but also it will be used on our Cutlass in order to add um, damage. It will add um, extra attack or strength to it. So... We can use that further down the road. Um, I think it takes quite a bit of pieces of quartz. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to get looting on our pickaxe. Unfortunately, like I said, we didn't find enough, enough lapis. And I will go ahead and mine more off of screen for you guys so that we can get more lapis and, and use that. And also get more redstone and use that. Um, because those are our two intricate things that we need to use in order to make our tinker's weapons a little bit better. And make us the pirate kings, of course. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically the nether. Um, there's, there's not much except for that moaning you can hear is a ghast, and I hope we can see him. We gotta be a little careful. Ghasts can destroy their environment. They shoot fireballs at you. Um, it sounds like he's over here somewhere. So remember, keep our eye out so we don't fall and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, he sounds... Where are you? Ghasts, uh, if you don't know, they fly, so... I'm trying to, I'm trying to get ourselves to be able to look outside now. If we were to see a gas, he'd probably he'd have to fly by us here. Okay, I don't like the scary noises, so we're gonna go ahead and back over to the overworld. Um, as you can see, guys, uh, we we did we did work on our pickaxe today. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't make more progress with our sword until until we do a little bit more reconnaissance as far as mining goes. But like I said, I'm gonna do that off screen for you all. Um, as well as remember to check down below uh, in the links or in the description down below for the link to the paste bins so that you guys can see exactly what mods I have incorporated into the into the game. And I'm sure I'm going to be adding some more. Um, next time on, on Pixel Pirate, we will be... Um working on getting ourselves some some or actually putting together a new pickaxe with um the looting so that we can get our cutlass nice and prepared to go out and fight more pirates and hopefully we can do that in the next episode as well i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and uh, have a great day